Hey Forex Militia, in this video I'm going to go over something that I believe will give you a very strong edge in the market and it's called sentiment. You can find this on a lot of sites. Those sites I will share with you. Hey Forex Militia, this is Preston. Uh, I am basically going to give you some of the knowledge that I've uh, attained from basically trading sentiment. This is a site called FX Blue that has <clears throat> a couple of market indicators. I would, I would call it market data. I'm going to show you exactly what they basically offer over here on FX Blue. I believe it's an English site. Uh, so here's here's what we got: real-time charts, technical analysis, market overviews, tick charts, currency strength, correlation matrix, trader sentiment, which is what I'm talking about today, currency heat map, session map, quote boards. They also have calculators. Uh, this. This is actually also good for when you're basically looking to position size. You want to see if the profit factor of uh, the trade you're going to take and of course Fibonacci and these things. But let's focus in on trader sentiment. So this means, what does this mean? What does this mean? This means the retail traders this is a measure of the retail traders. The retail traders on these currencies are usually wrong. This is the reason why 90% of traders basically lose. So when you see a sentiment of 2172, what this is saying is the balance of the traders that FX Blue is following, just FX Blue is following, they are short. So because we know that the, they are short and the retail traders are usually 90% wrong, we are going to do the opposite. We are going to go long. The reason for this is I believe this is because the banks when they basically see that the retail traders take their position short they know that all the stops just like here let's see yeah I'm going I'm going to do this on the uh, pound yen the pound yen is saying that um, let me see let me find it over here okay uh, right there this one isn't as as perfect this says that 55 percent of the retail traders that FX Blue is following are long so we we would want to go short the problem is you want to have this indicator above the 60 percent mark that 50 range in the 50s is more like more of a neutral so you really can't get a good read on it so okay I was gonna use the pound yen let's go ahead and just use the Aussie CAD right here you can see that 78 percent of the retail traders are short so we would want to go long Wait. I didn't switch the chart but what you see here is this this is 78 this is 21 so we basically want to go long and not go short okay let me switch it back over all right so let's find the Aussie CAD on here 
load that up. And what we have here is we want to go long. All right, so what we would, what we would look for is a setup. Uh, trading the five method, the setup for this actually already came. It came at about eight, uh, this is a four hour, that was actually yesterday. Today, there really wasn't anything except if you want to call this a bounce. At around five, five, six o'clock, we got a bounce. So, you would basically take this long according to what this is telling you right we know that the stops for uh, the that that the stops for the Aussie CAD are all up here if the retail traders are short they're all up here so the banks and the institutions are going to look to take those stops that's providing liquidity for the market and they are more than happy to take the retail traders money so it's basically going up for that reason we know that the big banks manipulate everything and 90 percent of traders basically lose so with that this holds some it, it holds some water i'm not going to say it's a hundred percent but it definitely the 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 psychology of the market because trading is a, is an art, not a science. The psychology of the market is saying that the people with the big money are gonna are going to basically take the money of the people who are, aren't in the know. So they uh, people often talk about stop hunting. Well, I believe that is definitely a truth. And here you have it. I believe that's why 90% of traders basically lose. That's a hell of a business. So with this, the five method you basically would definitely take this trade and just to take a look this is just about 26 pips from the start of there to where it is now at uh, noon going into the eight o'clock session and so uh, I believe that would be about it there is another site that I do use that's that has more pairs I use the FX site FX book has a lot more uh, currencies that they basically follow and so as you can see here let's look for the Aussie CAD again the Aussie CAD is 90% short and 10% long that is an extreme that's an extreme so most likely what I believe is the banks and the institutions will take that long so with that there is a program that I am going to recommend to you that uh, I've been using and it is let me take this back to the pound yen which I don't know when you guys are gonna see this but it's definitely going short as far this is this is the indicator that I am using it's from uh, fxssi.com and what it basically tells you it gives you a look at the different brokerages and that that is measuring the long short positioning of their retail traders and as you can see this is Oanda, IGG, uh, FX Blue, SSI, uh, this is probably FX.com, Dukas, Saxo, Forex Factory you know it has a, it has a, a good number of brokerages and uh, websites that are following re retail traders um, this right now is on the demo so this is a little bit late
but there is another indicator um, called uh, the sentiment light which they do offer for free and you get just one indicator one company that uh, will uh, give you a look-see as to what the retail traders are doing as this is looking it says the average of of the companies uh, I'm sorry of, of the brokerages that have traders uh, positioned is 60 40 so that would be um, long this side is long this side is short and so the contrarian method says that we should go short and on my on the uh, on the five method it's setting up that this is basically about to go short so that's everything I wanted to basically cover knowledge is power and power to the people you guys stay power hungry and I will see you in the next video.